Hey guys, welcome to The Fumble. I'm Britt Johnson. For more sports news and commentary, make sure you click subscribe and don't forget to follow me on all social media at I am Britt Johnson. The regular NBA season is now officially behind us with the season ending early on March 11th due to COVID-19. At the time of suspension, there was little debate on who the NBA Rookie of the Year was. Everyone had John Morant on their ballot, but they still had their eye on Zion Williamson, who started his rookie campaign very late and was playing catch-up due to an injury. The season's future was up in air for some time, but has now come down to this moment, the Orlando bubble, where 22 of the league's best teams will suit up starting July 30th, all looking for a chance to be named the 2020 NBA champion. Teams like the Lakers, Clippers, and Bucks are all favorites to win, so other teams like the Grizzlies and Pelicans could be looking towards the future, and while that all starts with their rookies. Due to the short season, Ja will most likely be named NBA Rookie of the Year, but here's a look at a few rookies who have a chance to make a name for themselves this season in the Orlando bubble. First, of course, being John Morant, whose Memphis Grizzlies sit in the eighth and final seed of the Western Conference and are looking to hold on to that spot. During the regular season, Ja averaged 17.6 points and 6.9 assists, but as the leader of that team, he is going to have to level up a few notches more if he wants his team to have a fighting chance in order to make it to a playoff spot. Players like Zion Williamson with the New Orleans Pelicans will be looking not only to take the Grizzlies' eighth seed, but to prove his worth as a rookie. Zion didn't play his first NBA game until January 22nd and has since been playing catch up to Ja the entire season. If Zion makes a big splash during the NBA return, he could very well change a lot of people's mind on who really is worthy of being named the 2020 NBA Rookie of the Year. The last rookie is actually a dynamic duo in Miami. Kendrick Nunn and Tyler Hero have been really surprising to watch this season. They both have had to sit out a little bit during the season, one missing 15 games back in February and March. How these rookies perform during this Orlando bubble will actually determine if Miami can really take the heat during this playoff run. So what rookie do you guys think will have the best run during the Orlando bubble? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video, click subscribe, and shop the Fumble store for the latest game day gear. I'm your host, Britt Johnson for the Fumble, and I'll see you guys soon.